Yo, what's up, y'all? Um, today, I'm going to be dialing a bass tone using my ding wall here and to the Art Pro Channel 2 Tube Channel Strip. Um, so just to let you know what's going to go on, um, I'm going to be using all three pickups. I'm going to be using the Active ENG preamp with the bass and treble boosted halfway up. I'm going to be routing this to the compressor, to my sans amp, and to, from my sans amp to my interface to the DAW with no post-processing. And I'm just gonna dial in tone and kind of show you what this thing can sound like and show you how you can just really get into the details of dialing your own tone. Also, if you like the Zombie Penguin logo thing that comes up on the beginning of my videos, I also sell that in shirts. Um, link is down below. Where And also you can follow like my the bands I'm in, Man the Moon, Guamski, and also you can follow my studio Spotify page where I post originals as well. And with that, I'm gonna dial in the tone. Well, all right, guys. So this is how it's gonna kind of look out of the box. I'm gonna go ahead and start dialing in tone. I'm also gonna exaggerate some of the settings just so you can kind of hear it like in all its context. And then in the end, we're gonna turn off everything and bring everything back. Show you that it is possible to really dial in the tone exactly how you want it. So just a reminder, I'm connected to this to my sans amp, to my sans amp, to my interface, and to the DAW. I'm gonna do no post-processing. All right, here we go. See that blinking yellow light means I'm clipping. So let's turn down the input gain. So I can make a clip if I pull it as hard as I can. So I think we're in a pretty safe zone. So over here we got a low cut filter, but since we're doing a bass, I really don't feel the need to use it, but I'll show you what it sounds like anyway. All right, now the preamp. Let's turn this button on the two voltage high. But I think if you press it, it's going to be the normal. I don't know exactly. Let's just check out the differences then. Yeah, this has to be like the normal. And then without it on is like more saturation. So I kind of like how that sounds cranked. So I'm going to leave it like that. And so now for the compressor, we're going to, I have it set to the fastest attack and release. There's also an auto button for attack and release. Um, I'll do both and uh, start adjusting as I go. So here we go. So let's start compressing. All right, so now let's just crush the signal. That sounds boring. Let's press the auto. Sound to ratio a bit. Let's do a, a three to one. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I kind of like how that sounds. So before. So yeah, that sounded pretty good. All right, so on the low, on the EQ, starting from low, um, we could either choose it to be 40 or 120. Um, so we're going to start on 40 first, and I'm going to just crank it up all the way so you can hear what it sounds like, and then I'll start to dial it in. So let's do 120. So we're giving the low end some body. So that sounds pretty good. All right, so for the low mid, we could go from 20 to 200 hertz. And since I'm already doing a boosting 120, and if I go any higher than that, then it's uh, it's gonna bring up some more like of the mud. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stick to 60 and kind of like fill out the uh, lower, lower end of the bass. So let's see how that sounds. So that makes it sound massive. So let's fill it out a little bit. Let's put in the narrow button in. I think I like the, the narrow button. Oh, I'm clipping. Let's turn down a little. All right, cool. So with the high mids, we can do 200 hertz to 2,000 kilohertz. Well, two two kilohertz. So 2,000 hertz, whatever. Um, I want to bring in like a. I want to bring out some bite out of this bass. So I'm gonna go around 1.5k and. See how that sounds like. Let's 
just press a narrow. I'm liking how that sounds already. All right, now for the highs, if you if you press it in, you're at six kilohertz, and if you don't press it in, you're at 18. So let's start with six first, and then we'll bring up 18 and see what I like better. Try eighteen. That really opens it up. All right, so now I'm going to bring it up to level. All right, so now let's just bypass everything let's put the preamp all the way back so just do it before and after All right, so in conclusion, I really like this thing. I got to really dial in the bass tone fairly quickly, and it was also kind of fun messing around with this thing at the same time. And uh, you, as you can see, you could really dial in exactly what you want on it too. Like the saturation from the tube sounds great. The compressor is great. Like everything, like this is almost like a like a mix ready tone. Like 
like just blend that with like the di or something and and just saw it pretty much um right now this thing is about 460 dollars um like i said i changed up the tube uh for a jj but the two on there is uh you know it's all right it's not it's not too great but i mean if you're just getting started then like you know it's it's fine it does its job um i would highly recommend it um i'm clearly not endorsed by art or anything <laughs> so everything i say is as genuine as it can be uh if you have any questions or anything else or if you would like to see me do something with like the p base or any other pickup configuration uh let me know um i don't know if that's something you guys would like but uh i'm willing to do it if you guys want it um or if you guys want me to do something with like a guitar to the helix to the interface so i can do that too if you guys want um so i guess let me know and uh, also again support your boy i sell shirts uh follow my bands and uh subscribe to the channel later